Hi, James here from Radio Cub. Today I'm going to show you how to create a website from scratch for your radio station. And don't worry, it's a lot easier than you think. But just to give you a quick overview, we'll be covering first steps to getting your website, how to register a new domain or transfer an existing one, initial setup using the website builder, building your first page, and finally publishing your website. So with all that in mind, let's get to it. Now, just a quick note before we start, the RadioCo website build uses Weebly, a website hosting and content management system. Just like WordPress and Joomla, there are limitations, but at the benefit of ease of use. So there's no coding needed and nothing too fiddly to set up. Perfect if you just want a website running quickly without a deep understanding of what's going on under the hood. With that out of the way, time to get to the website builder. So to get the ball rolling, activate the website builder in your RadioCo account. Now to do this, you just need to head to add-ons, then to website builder, and you'll see two options, light and plus. The light version does everything you'd expect, hosting your website, managing content, and a few perks like templates for quicker setup. The plus version expands on this, so it offers a bit more, such as video backgrounds, website statistics, site search, an online store, and a membership area. But whichever option you choose, both come with a free domain. Speaking of domains, check the availability to register a new one by following the link in the description. Or if you've already got one, then skip ahead on how to transfer an active domain to radio.co. Active domains are registered elsewhere, so in order to use them with radio.co, you'll need to point the domain to your new website host. Contact your old hosting provider, such as GoDaddy, or domain registrar, asking them to update your A records. If they're not updated after a date, then contact your old provider. After you've activated the website builder, you'll receive an email with login details. And in your radio.co account, there's now an option to edit your website. Alternatively, access your website builder through sites.radio.co, so probably worth bookmarking this as you'll be returning from time to time. Once logged in, you'll be given the option to choose from pre-built themes. All of these are fully customizable and can be tweaked to fit the look and feel of your radio station's brand. But don't worry, you can change the theme if you feel it's not exactly what you want. Some are better suited for simple sites with just a landing page, whereas others are more dynamic for e-commerce and business sites. So right off the bat, you'll be set up with a landing page. Without going into too much detail, the builder uses a simple drag and drop interface, so if you've used WordPress or other CMSs before, then this should feel familiar. The blocks on the left can be dragged over, added to the page and customised easily. Quick side note, it's worth updating your settings, add in a description of meta keywords so search engines like Google can easily find you. And if you want to keep an eye on things, add Google Analytics code in the footer so you can track your site's performance. Simple one-page sites often get the job done, but if you want to show off your roster of DJs, cover events in blog posts, prompt listeners for donations, or keep everyone updated with an upcoming weekly schedule, then you'll need to create new pages. Once you're happy with your website, publish to set everything live. Simple as that. As time goes on, you'll want to make changes and add new pages, so just publish again and set the ch new changes live every time you make any changes to the website. And that's about everything, but there's a lot more to do with the website builder. From selling merchandise to showing off what's going on at your station, running a website creates a destination for listeners and helps you get discovered online. But if you need a helping hand with getting set up, then please don't hesitate to contact us at help at radio.co. And for more radio news and insights like this, be sure to like, subscribe and all that goodness. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of Radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention? Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch and do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.